This is Wicked Roadie, a wicked good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Mary Larson. And I'm Ben Castro. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to the final weekend and the beginning of 2017, depending on when you're listening, of course. Truly, truly. Because, you know, these come out on Thursday with the intent that we'll give you events and things to do on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Uh, So obviously we have some great natural events like New Year's Eve stuff to talk about. Yes. And polar bear plunges to talk about. So cold. Uh, Get your Speedos, ladies and gentlemen. (laughs) But uh, it was a fun Christmas weekend and start to Hanukkah, Mary. How was your Christmas madness? It wasn't mad at all. Well, that's great. Right? That's great. I... I have decided to take on the 12 days of Christmas with my family by meaning that like we're just spreading out the gift opening over 12 days. And so it wasn't madness. Yeah, with the kids. That's brilliant. So for example, today, which is Tuesday, Tuesday's the day Ben and I record, I let my children open up a little zoo play set. Lots of animals, cute little things. They played with it for two days. Hours this morning, wow. two hours. Had you they, may be, on, you like, know, the Jews were onto something with, with eight Monica. days. <laughs> yes. So we're taking it up a notch yes. with the uh, so, love to all my Jewish friends, you know, uh, out there on the mm-hmm. east side and all over the place. The Brombergs, the uh, the the Gold Goldmans uh, over there at Big Blue Bug Solutions. Everybody, lots of love to them all. Of course, Andy Lamchick, our good friend over there from the iHeart Radio Cluster. Uh, How about you? How was your that holiday? Was, that, that's great. Uh, Thank my, you. It was good. It was good. We put a restriction on the amount of travel we were doing. Christmas Day, two stops. That's it. Love it. And uh, so that was good. Uh, went to my cousin's house in Marshfield, Mass. We deep fried a turkey. Is this your first time? No, no. Okay. It was his first time. I kind of stood back. <laughs> um, and his wife was like, I'm glad you're here because you're a fireman yeah. and you know things. So we started by flipping the burner right side up after it was lit uh, because, you know, we I said, oh, gee, the fire is burning the grass. We should probably change that. And uh, so, you know, hey, it, it was a process, but it came out awesome. It came out delicious. We did it outside in a safe manner. Yep. We didn't fill the bucket up with too much oil. And uh, the turkey was a fresh bird. Uh, he did a Cajun rub on it. It was delicious. It was delicious. I didn't know you could rub a fried turkey. You can. Um, and obviously, the longer you let the rub sit on there, the there more it'll 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 permeate into the meat. Uh, but the key thing was it was a fresh bird. It wasn't frozen. Okay. And that means when you put it in, there's not a chance that some part of it still has uh, ice, crystals. Ice, ice crystals, which can really be bad when it mixes with the oil and the heat and everything. So that went well. But before we got to Christmas, Mary, you hosted a lovely event. I, I'm now going to call it from now on Mary with Mary. There you go. It was I a like cookie it. decorating party. It was it was it was quite the extravagant evening. <laughs> and let's 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 have full disclosure. Yes, please. Uh, my wife Susan is originally from upstate New York. She was living everywhere else before she married me and came here. And Mary, you were one of the first people uh, that she met. Yes. Um, and, and spent some time with. And so you guys have become very good friends. I'm good friends with Blake. I didn't know if this was a couples thing. Mm-hmm. So I had some errands to run. And then Susan had texted me and said, hey, why don't you come on over? Uh, just, you know, Blake, you know. Oh, they're welcome. Blake, Blake wants to hang out with somebody downstairs and watch football. Yes. I'm like, I can do that very well. <laughs> So I show up and I walk up to the front door and I look. Now, this is a new house. Yep. This is a brand new house. And for cooling racks, you were using outside on the porch. Yes, because in between frosting and cooking, I would cool them outside. It was a nice chilly night. So yeah, on the front there porch. were a couple hundred cookies being made. I don't yes. know if you guys had a final tally. Well, I come walking in, big footed Ben, kind of like, hey, cookies, stomp. Right on a tray of cookies. Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. I smashed the cookies. I loved your quote. You came in, you said, I thought it was a festive floor mat. I did. I did. <laughs> they were red and green and there were circles and there was like it was kind of sparkly. I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. Oh, it's edible. Uh, in defense, not to let anything go to waste, I did eat one of the cookies I stepped on. What'd you think? It was delicious. Yeah, those It was delicious. Were. Yeah, they were very good. <laughs> they were very good. And, and one has become a permanent fixture of your deck. Uh, I will bring a power washer in 
the spring. <laughs> I have been trying to scrape that one off. It's taking a little while. <laughs> but I'll uh, never forget it. But you guys had uh, you had about ten people over here. Yeah, it was and... a really great night. And you know, I wanted to do it because the season is so busy, and you hear it in all the songs about how it's uh, supposed to be about hanging out with friends and loved ones. Sure. And so rarely does do you actually get to do that because it's such a busy season with work, with shopping, with the traffic. I mean, gosh, just to get to my house was is is a bit of an ordeal. But I said, I just want to slow down. People can come over in casual attire. Let's decorate cookies. Let's have some cider. I had meatballs in the crock pot. And that's the kind of holidays that I like to celebrate. No, I agree with you 100%. It was, uh, it was a fun night. Blake and I watched a little football. We chat, talked to a little shop, a little guy talk. You know, mm-hmm. it is what it is. Uh, but... It was. It was. I'm. I'm, I'm very ha- happy you had a, a fun night. I had a couple cookies myself. They were delicious, and uh, yeah. So that brings us to today, this weekend coming up. Lots of things to do. So if you're tuned in while you're on the road, on vacation, your staycation, you're working, getting some errands done, whatever, just sit back and enjoy because we'll compile all this information on our show notes on our website at wickedroadypodcast.com. <laughs> We wanted to let you know that today's sponsor is Aria's Lounge. They're located at 108 North Main Street in Providence, where Olives used to be. Okay, I know Across that is. Across from the yes. Mills Tavern. There yes. you go. Yeah, right over there. Well, they're going to be hosting a New Year's Eve party, which is sponsored by Corsa Casting, a local actor's casting okay. um, company, and celebrity guest, five-time world champ, and real-life subject of the movie Bleed for This, Vinny Paz. So also in attendance will be Michelle Costa from Big Brother. Brother 10. Oh, okay. Another yeah. Another big yeah, star here yeah, in Rhode Island. Wow. So the event starts at 9 p.m. There are going to be free appetizers and champagne toast at midnight, of course. Now, Aria's Lounge is relatively new to the scene, and it has a gorgeous, gorgeous layout, a beautiful bar. I was able to see some of the pictures from this space, and it's a good location. I mean, right there, downtown in Providence, yep. always has lots of parking. You can also park around that Roger Williams Memorial Park. Yes. Yep, you know, yep. mm-hmm. um, it's, it's a great place. So you can check out tickets for for this event, they are available for purchase online at www.ariasloungeri.com. All right, then. You always find the coolest things to talk about, the most interesting <laughs> pick of the week. What do you got? I just spend a lot of time online. <laughs> it's the Roger Williams Park Zoo. It's the continuation. We talked about it last week, but now through the end of 2016, you can go to the zoo for free. You for don't free. have to pay admission when you get there. They do ask that if you bring a coat or a canned good or something for a donation to be nice and give back, which is always a great idea. And you know what? With coats... And, you know, the warm winter wear, it doesn't have to be kids. It can be for adults, too. Mm -hmm. They'll take it. They'll make sure it gets to the right hands right away of somebody who can use it. Uh, But the zoo is such a great location. It's it's right off. the. It's on Elmwood Ave in Providence. I mean, centrally located from anywhere in Rhode Island. And the zoo, we talked about it last week. It's become one of those places that. Every time you go there, it's it's a different kind of experience mm-hmm. because the animals may be doing something. Maybe the elephants are a little more playful one time than another. You can go through the uh, the big backyard that Hasbro has sponsored. There's so many great different things to do there. There's classes there that you can learn. And, you know, it's not too early to start thinking about summer camp. If you really want to beat the winter blues, start thinking about summer camp. It's true. Zoo camp is awesome. Yes. <laughs> it is so much fun. Oh, my goodness. I wish I would have went when I was a kid. But I went to band camp. But uh, <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> yep. Grab like, your accordion, kids. You know, you're talking about the the to donate clothes and stuff. And one of the biggest things that I can recommend, say you don't have it and yet you would like to donate. If you go to Goodwill or Savers, right now you can buy a ton of coats and hats and mittens for really cheap prices. They're yeah. having really big sales and people are cleaning out their closets now because a lot of people got new outerwear for the holidays so to swing by pick that up drop it off at the park at the zoo and you're right the animals are doing something different every single time no it's it's really cool it's such a great location like i said you can eat there they have concessions you can get a hot cup of coffee or hot chocolate 
while you're there. And to you stay were warm. right last week. You talked about kangaroos. I forgot they do have yes, kangaroos. Yes, they got kangaroos. There. All right. In the Australia area. Oh, I haven't gone to see the kangaroos that much because you actually get to go walk around them. Right. You, you go into their habitat. That's it. And I've just been afraid that my child would run and want to be a kangaroo for the rest of his I life. I come from a land down under. <laughs> no, the, uh, it's, it, they've done such great work. Great staff, great people over there. Love the zoo. So that's what's wicked interesting. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's what's wicked fun in the 401. <laughs> We've been talking a lot about holiday things recently and, you know, New Year's events, but there's an event that came across my desktop that really caught my eye as something incredibly different, especially for this time of year. There's going to be a public paranormal investigation at the Newport Elks Lodge. In addition to that, there's going to be a special event called Some Enchanted Evening. So this Hmm. is all going on. New Year's Eve, December 31st, from 3 to 10 p.m., and it is held by the Mystics of the Newport Mystical Society and JK Paranormal. So there's going to be tours every half hour. The tours are approximately an hour long. This is really cool because they really don't let people go to the third floor. It's rarely open to the public. This building is on Pelham Street. Is that how you say it? Pelham. 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 I kind of did it almost. It's all good. You're going to get a lot of history about the location. It's actually uh, where the Atlantic House Hotel once stood, and it housed the Naval Academy, who referred to it as Paradise. It was also the location of the first public roller skating rink in the United States. Really? The first roller skating rink. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Those sailors were crazy. (laughs) They know how to live. I mean, let's put wheels on shoes and walk around. (laughs) So there have been actually claims of a little girl spirit roaming the third floor during different investigations. So you can go super spooky. But in addition to that, there's going to be this cool party, the the Some Enchanted Evening, where there's going to be tarot card readers, mediums, energy workers, people selling different types of jewelry and crystals. So if you're more into that type of event, or if you just want a really different New Year's Eve experience, this is something that you need to check out. It's in Newport. Um, the The event for the paranormal investigation tickets are at the door for twenty dollars, and then that some enchanted evening, kids are even allowed there. So uh, kids twelve and under are free. Beautiful. Thing. I was trying to sing the Ghostbusters theme underneath. I, I got it. I don't I know if it. people will pick up on it. In the neighborhood. There you go. Entertainment is free, ladies and gentlemen, and so this is this podcast. But the frozen clam dip, this is our next event, the Opsta Plunge, benefiting mentoring Rhode Island. I had Ryan McGowan from Laidback Fitness in the car with me uh, a couple weeks ago talking about this. There's a lot of polar plunges out there. Yes. They're, they're all over the state. They happen all over the country. This one, you can actually do an obstacle course before you run in. So it gets you a little warm. Oh, yeah, okay. sure. Go with that mindset. <laughs> um, it's it's really cool. I mean, the guys at Laidback Fitness, they do they take a different approach to fitness and, and different ways to get you moving. What do you mean a different approach? Their approach is not necessarily, I'm going to lift 5,000 pounds, oh, bench curls and all that other stuff. They do things to get you fit to handle life's obstacles Mm. so they talk with you about what do you do what is your lifestyle like and then they curate a workout that's for you now let's let's not be you diet and exercise are key they go hand in hand yes and they will talk to you about that but they do more of the okay if you can get your mind around it if you can prepare yourself for the the obstacle the challenge that lies ahead no matter what it is you can handle it Mm mm-hmm and and when I talked with Ryan, it really it was it wasn't that crazy, you know, yelling at you boot camp kind of mentality. I don't think he's capable of that. No, he is very very nice. He has uh, captivating blue eyes, if I do Ryan say so. Ryan and I went to to high school and junior high together. He is I, a he is a gorgeous man. He's you know Ryan just has such a great uh, spirit about him. Sure. Where he does he kind of empowers you to want to become uh, a better you physically inside and out, and that's why I think it's so fun that. This plunge is not just jump in the ocean. Granted, they're usually for good causes, but he's he's made a fun little twist on it. Oh, absolutely! And he got involved with Rhode Island Mentoring Partnership a, a number of years ago, 
And they do amazing work over there, too. I mean, you talk about there are thousands of kids in their system that need a mentor, that need somebody to, you know, hang out with them, teach them the right from wrong. And it's not necessarily a hard lesson. It's just by example a lot of times. So they have that whole system set up. This raises funds for Rhode Island Mentoring Partnership to further the programs. And this is a great way to kick off the new year. It's over at Goddard Park. If you head over to our website, we'll give you the link and everything. But if you go there, please take some photos, use the hashtag Ops to Plunge, and use the hashtag Wicked Roadie. We want to see it. That yes. is going to be a blast. And actually, uh, Ryan's done it a few times and posted videos about it, mm -hmm. meaning this week, early. Wait, like, so he's, he's already doing the plunge. He's, he's, getting, he's getting ready and testing everything out because you got to make sure everything's going to work out That's safe. It, might, it, it works one way on paper, then, you know, it... it Things may change when it comes to real life. So they, they do the work to make sure it's all going to work out. And he goes all the way in. And uh, there you go. I hear so, there's going to be a DJ and some food there. There will be food trucks. There will be DJs. There will be giveaways, prizes, all sorts of fun. Awesome. And this is suitable for all ages. All ages. No matter what, break out your swim gear. You're going to love it. What else do we have? Also going on New Year's Day, still in Warwick, my my stomping grounds when I grew up sure. because I got her park is Warwick. You might want to check out the Rocky Point State Park. So there's this thing going on called First Day Hikes. They're a nationwide incentive led by America's state parks to encourage people to get outdoors. So mm. on New Year's Day, hundreds of free guided tours and hikes take place in all the 50 states. And the one, the only first day hike taking place in the ocean state is going to be at rocky point state park so of course that was where rocky point the amusement park right. was i have not been since they've turned it into a state park yet it's gorgeous really it is gorgeous what does it look like it's it's uh, the best comparison i can give it to it's it's like a cross between colt state park and goddard park oh it is gorgeous i mean obviously in the summertime the trees have leaves yes. on them uh <laughs> It, it's it's such a great layout now, and they do you know they do the movies in the park there in the yep. summertime. Uh, they do a Halloween event. Someone was yep, telling me about. Yeah, they do a lot of great things. So great. that that has really gone from, and it took a while to transition. But I think that I give credit where credits due. I know Mayor Avedesian was very a big proponent of it. The state DEM was a very hard worker on that mm -hmm. whole thing. Their whole collective agency. So that's pretty cool. I, I'm looking at your notes here. Yeah. And you said this is part of a nation, uh, nationwide initiative? Yes. So there will be over 66,000 miles hiked throughout the country. Yep. All on New Year's Day, wow. all on people trying to get outdoors. I mean, it's you were talking about how important it is for people to, you know, be physically active and exercise plays a big part, but also just to appreciate these beautiful lands that our nation has preserved and be, yep. to be able to walk through them. So, yeah, I mean, 66,000 miles. Now, this can be done at Rocky Point State Park with strollers. So, mm -hmm. say you have a little one, strollers Good. are accessible, and you can also bring your dogs. Your pets just have to be leashed, and it is a two mile walk that takes place at noon so if you're someone like me who go. doesn't want to wake up at the crack of dawn on new year's day to go get cold in the water i mean god bless you ben i know you do the plunges it's a great thing you can do the plunges i might be more of a i'm gonna need some brunch wear some warm gear and go for a hike kind of person <laughs> so if that is uh your your idea for a morning or you could do both who knows they're both in warwick it's the first day hike in rocky point state park if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more than two miles why not check out the 32nd annual Hangover Classic 5-Miler in Bristol, Rhode Island Ooh. on Sunday, January 1st, starting at 10.30 a.m. It's a classic-style road race. It's a flat course, and you can start your year off right through picturesque Bristol, Rhode Island. It goes through Colt State Park and the beautiful Papa Squash Road area. If you haven't been down over Papa to the Squash Papa, Squ Papa Squash Road area, that's the road where if you're on Thames Street in Bristol and you're looking across... Bristol Harbor there, you know, where Independent Park is and mm -hmm. you, where all the boats are. That's the land that's on the other side. Oh. So it's... I didn't know that was still Bristol. That's all still Bristol, and then it breaks off, and then you... That's where the East Passage of the Narragansett Bay comes down, and mm -hmm. then beyond that is uh, Prudence Island. And believe it or not, uh, fun fact, that is where the deer take off from Papa Squash Point to swim to Prudence Island. Oh, wow. Deer are excellent swimmers. 
There's your nature. Yes, they are. And they swim across the bay and they go to Prudence Island. Didn't we have an overpopulation deer problem on Block Ooh, Island? We still do. Oh no. There you go. So they're they're working on it. They're working on Bambi. it. They they they're working on it. Yes, exactly. But uh, <laughs> hey, t shirts go to the first two hundred and fifty participants or applicants. The race course is open for an hour and fifteen minutes, and uh, the race headquarters and day of will be at the Agave restaurant at Hope Street in Bristol. It's right there across from Gatera School, right before the road splits. Um, near the sip and dip near is exactly in the same okay. it's in the it's the next parking lot over absolutely very good right on I know that. Where there my you coffee go shops absolutely are, yeah. it opens at 9 a.m all you can eat breakfast buffet uh will be available at agave if you want to go into the restaurant and, and partake in that uh race logistics by road races inc timing and scoring by 3c race productions and then part of the proceeds go to help the healthy huskies program at kikamuit middle school that's all part of the Bristol Warren School Department. Nice. But again, it's a fun race. It's it's a great way to get a good, healthy run in to kick off the new year. Look at us talking about so many healthy things. I know, as we suck down our coffees. <laughs> You know what else is healthy, Mary? Tell me. Love. <laughs> Love is all you need. Love. Thank you, Beatles. First date anniversaries are just looking to create a spark to kick off 2017, right? How about this wicked romantic happening? So, New Year's Eve. What's the big thing everyone thinks about New Year's Eve? Sleeping. That New Year's Eve kiss. Oh, yes, that's right. Sorry. You know? <laughs> I, I usually think about sleeping, too. But um, if you are... Someone who can stay up past 9 p.m. and doesn't need to watch the fake Netflix countdown like myself at 9.30. Um, and you can actually go out and you want to celebrate in style. I highly recommend that you go to the One Providence New Year's Eve Ball. It's going to be taking place at the Rhode Island Convention Center, which means there's lots of easy parking. Yeah, It's going to be from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Tickets start at $50, so you can celebrate the start of 2017 and the close of 2016 at the best New Year's Eve party in Rhode Island. So this is one Providence really kind of celebrates all of the people and places and diversity in Providence. And um, it's they're really recommending that you go and you eat downtown. We have so many fine oh, restaurants yeah. in Providence. Mm -hmm. And there's also hotel packages. So if you oh. want to really make this quite the romantic evening through One Providence, you can head on over and see the different hotels that have great deals for you. Get some great food. Go out. I mean, I got to see pictures from last year's ball. And it is a ball. I mean, people dress up. This yeah. is one of those fancy New Year's Eves that you see in movies where the where the balloons come down there's oh, a dj a live band my, it's the stuff hallmark movies are made of amen i'm just gonna be asleep by 9 30 so if you have more energy than me or if you're able to drink a couple more coffees than i can i would highly recommend to go check out who, who puts this whole thing together this is the Rhode Island Convention Center, City of Providence, the Providence Art, Cultural Tourism, and the Providence Warwick Convention and Visitors Bureau. So all of those lots agencies, of those, they create the one Providence. They are the they <laughs> are the they, that's well. There's a lot of great minds in those agencies that put these things together. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's going to be quite a spectacular affair. I would agree. <laughs> This week's wicked family friendly event, Mary. Roll with the trolls. Yeah. At USA Skates in Rumford, Rhode Island. Of course, Rumford being in Providence. This is happening on New Year's Day. So if your kids want to go do something fun, you get to kick off the new year with our new favorite trolls. There's two big skating sessions. There's one at noon to 2.30, and then there's another one at 3 to 5.30, so you can enjoy roller skating, games, tons of family fun, and meet the new troll characters. Oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Admission isn't that bad either. No, it's only $7 for skaters, and non-skating adults are admitted for free, and regular skates are just $4. Roller blades are only four fifty to rent. All right, now, if you go to this, are you renting roller skates or roller blades? Ooh, I am a skate. I'm a skate kind of person. Four Old wheels. school. Okay. I want the the little bumper thing on the, the front. There you so, go. Okay. Yep. You know what I'm talking about? The break, yes. Yeah, break. That's Never knew how to use it, but yeah, it's there. That's <laughs> how about great. you? Are you a rollerblader or a skater? I'm more of a sitter. <laughs> you would go in for free. I'm more of a reader. Okay. I can appreciate. Did <laughs> yeah. you used to skate in your teenage years? No, I played accordion. <laughs> See, I was that's what I would do when I was about 12. We would go and roller skate and then when the slow do, slow dance song came on, you could skate next to someone. I used to go to USA Skates 
or Bobby's Rollaway. Remember Bobby's Rollaway? Where was that? That was right on the South Attleboro Pawtucket line. I was in It was Warwick. the coolest place because part of the floor was like three inches lower than the other part. So Ooh. you just all of a sudden just drop down. <laughs> that was safe. And uh, it's now some kind of banquet facility, which is great. But I, I would get so used to skating in one direction. Mm-hmm. And then when it'd be like, reverse. Reverse skate, you know, they, they change and the and lights and everything. Up. I would get so mad because like, I can't go the other way. I don't know how. So it I just, just wait. Turns. Yeah, I, I would just, yeah, exactly. I would just wait until the, the okay, are we done with this counterclockwise maneuver? <laughs> Let's go. You were just talking about how you used to roller skate just over the border. And no matter where you are in Rhode Island, no matter where you are, you're never more than 18 and a half miles from either Massachusetts or Connecticut. So Ben has a great event that he wants to tell you about that is just over the border. You know, you were just talking about not being able to stay up so late. Well, here's your solution. Noon Year's Eve at Buttonwood Park Zoo in New Bedford. <laughs> Noon Year's Eve. Noon Year's <laughs> Eve on Saturday, December 31st from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Not 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the middle of the day. That's more my style. There you go. This is a unique family-friendly celebration that will include a dance party with DJ Danny Levin, meet and greet with Cisco. It's their great horned owl. You can do a New Year's Eve craft, face painting, and admission to the zoo. Awesome. All for the low member family price of $20, a non-member family of $25. That's two adults and up to four children. This is is the way to do it and they're going to be selling the new year at noon with a toast of toast and sparkling (laughs) apple juice hold up we're going to toast with toast toast with toast and sparkling apple juice that is hysterical this is such a great fun event i when i found this i'm like all right if you want to take the ride over you know 195 go over the braga bridge down in new Mm -hmm. bedford it's I'd say it's about a 20, 25 minute jaunt from Providence. Okay. Uh, Maybe give or take. Uh, But this is such a cute idea. This is great. I mean, I know toast with toast. I I know the Larson children won't be staying up till midnight. No, this is a great opportunity. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. 10 to noon. Not just the Larson children. I myself might not be able to stay until midnight. I love this. Great idea. Just wanted to remind you that today's episode is sponsored by Aria's Lounge. They are located at 108 North Main Street in Providence, and they're going to be hosting a New Year's Eve party. It's sponsored by Corsa Casting and celebrity guest five-time world champ. Vinny Pazienza. He was the subject of the movie Bleed for This, which just recently came out. Also in attendance will be Michelle Costa from Big Brother 10. This all starts at 9 p.m. There's going to be free apps, champagne, and tickets are available for purchase at www.ariasloungeri.com. As we said in the beginning, Everything we've talked about today can be found on our website, wickedroadypodcast.com. And if you are listening to us on iTunes, Mm -hmm. it's so easy. Would you give us a review? It it helps us to reach out to more people just like yourself who would benefit from the information that Mary and I have created here. Curated, not created. We didn't create the information. All these great venues create the information. I just curate it. We find it for you and (laughs) deliver it to you in a nicely wrapped bow. Maybe you could say that on the iTunes review. Hey, and if you're actually listening in iTunes, believe it or not, your show notes are in the iTunes app. So you can click all of these websites, all of these events that we talked about. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram, Mm -hmm. also on your phone. And if you're posting any photos from the events that we chatted about, or if you want just us to see what you're doing, simply tag us in the description or use the hashtag Wicked Roadie. Hey, if you're interested in having your company or restaurant featured in an episode, we'd love to chat with you. Just email us over at wickedroadypodcast at gmail.com. Until next time, I'm Mary Larson. And I'm Ben DeCastro. And you've been listening to Wicked Roadie. We'll have more for you next Thursday. Next year! Oh my goodness! Happy New Year! Happy New Year!